What's up everyone? We just finished wrapping up Pipeline 2024 yesterday and we're in the heated gear booth and we have a lot of new products that we're excited to talk about. I'm here with Wes, the product manager for heated gear. How you doing, Wes? Good, good, Matt. Happy to be here. Glad you're here with us. Um, yeah, so like Matt mentioned, we're here uh, talking about Hexon and really everything that's new with heat technology here um, with heated gear for Milwaukee. So Matt, I, I was curious, I know you were telling me a little bit yesterday about how you got started uh, in, uh, in working with Matt and the whole channel. What was, what was that like over the past couple of years? And I know this is your second pipeline, I believe. Correct, yep. So for people that don't know, my name's Matt on socials. I'm working with Matt. Um, we do property management. So basically anything outside, uh, landscaping, uh, cutting grass, pat decks, patios, pergolas. Um, so I, for one, know all about heated gear because obviously with snow removal and being out in the elements, it's a necessity. Um, in regards to social media, um, about four years ago, we were just solely like a landscape company. And then um, with the current times, everybody wanted decks and patios and pergolas. So we got into the construction aspect of things. And uh, I kind of just started doing time lapse and just kind of promoting our new venture. And uh, it's kind of grown from there. I, I became obsessed with Milwaukee and Got a fancy trailer that's all decked out in red. And uh, fortunately, I'm honored enough to be invited here now. Awesome. Yeah, we're glad to have you. Have you, uh, w what's your experience been with Heated Gear so far uh, with everything in the market? It's great. The one thing that anyone that truly works outside understands is you don't want to wear like big, heavy, bulky stuff, right? You always want to layer. So that way, depending upon what you're doing, you can either remove clothes or whatever the case may be. So. With the heated gear, it's nice. It's nice and thin, but as soon as you put that battery pack on and turn the jacket on or vest or sweatshirt, whatever the case may be, um, it allows you to get that heat without that big bulky baggage, essentially. Awesome. Yeah, I think the that's good to hear. I, I think the thing for us is this is the kind of the next frontier for heat technology. So I know we got to spend a little bit of time walking through and doing some of the introduction, but with Hexon, really, this next generation for us is going to completely change the game. And we've really been the market leaders for the past 15 years in this space, like really one of the ones to push the envelope in it and bring it from a mass proliferation like into the market. But we also knew that we wanted to, in Milwaukee fashion, innovate on ourselves, or we were probably going to get disrupted at some point. So Hexon Heat Technology really is that next game-changing, ground-up development, not iterating on anything in the market. It's completely new. I think, honestly, the biggest benefit of it is you talked about being in those cold conditions and probably going from cold conditions to warm conditions, whether it's from the truck or on site back and forth. The biggest benefit of Hexon is now when you're in a cold environment, you're going to actually be able to hit that target temp. So if you have it set to high, instead of dropping temp over the discharge of the battery, now you're going to actually be able to hit high in that 50 seed target and hold it over the discharge of the entire battery. For people that don't know about heated gear, I guess, can you explain how it got started? And then obviously for someone like me, who's pretty knowledgeable in Milwaukee stuff, even I don't know about Hexon. I have heated gear, I've worn it for years, but why don't you get into uh, what the difference of the technology from last year and prior years is to what we can expect for the coming years? Yeah, absolutely. So. Heated gear got started in 2010, and it really, at the time, it was one red jacket. We had, we just sold a few thousand units, and uh, it was really, at that time, intended to be an expansion on the M12 system. So obviously, I, I think there were about five or six tools. M12 was pretty new in 2010. It was really an area we were looking to bring more value to, to the user, to the pro on site, to be able to have more solutions on that system with that investment in M12. And we quickly realized, like, hey, we've you know, maybe not struck gold, but we've really hit something that's intriguing and interesting both on and off the job. And so for the next few years, we kind of iterated on different garments and, and jackets and things like that and kind of dialing in some of the tech. But over the past five years, we've really invested in a big way and made this a big focus at Milwaukee, both from a, a jacket and a garment and, and a product standpoint, which is obviously important when you're wearing clothes, but also from a heat technology standpoint, which really at Milwaukee is where our bread and butter is where all of our expertise is with electronics and batteries. So this legacy tech, our previous generation, really built off that carbon fiber and, a, and a, a thin wire, really, that's delivering that heat. Hexon is a completely different platform. So it's built off of thin sheets of really carbon molecules and, and pieces that is 
going to have extremely improved amounts of contact to the body. So it's about 40 times more contact and coverage inside of that same footprint. Um, one of the biggest things though is that that ability to read the environment and give you the heat that you need. So in cold conditions, you're able to hit your heat and hold it over the entire discharge of the battery. And then if you're moving in and out, it's going to adjust with you so that you're able to either preserve runtime or ramp back up to be able to hit the heat that you have it set to. Um, so when you're in those warmer environments or more moderate conditions, you're gonna get extended runtime on the battery pass much past that minimum expectation. Very nice. Now the one thing you brought up, the M12 platform. So obviously it's been since 2010. Um, I would say, I'm sure you've heard it a few times, the biggest complaint about it is just getting like stabbed in the back. Now, this is brand new. Um, I call it a flat pack, but why don't you uh, tell them what the actually, the real name is and go into this a little bit and what the app and the capabilities are of this. Yeah, so this is the heated gear power source with app control. And so we call it that because it's more than a battery. It's, it's really a three-in-one solution. It's got the battery integrated, the charger system integrated, so in and out for devices as well. But then it also has all the digital aspects in the solution there with Bluetooth. So you're able to connect to the digital app, the heated gear app that'll be free, and it's really integrated into this pack, but then the pack communicates to the jackets with Hexon. And you're able to pull out a lot more capabilities with Hexon than you would with, able, uh, with that on jacket uh, on best control. So things like, you know, simple things like turn the LED on and off. You can check the charge of your battery at any time. You can lock the control on the jacket so you don't accidentally turn it on or off when you're wearing a harness or you're wearing bibs. But I think the most impactful aspect with Hexon and using the app is being able to leverage that readability in the environment. And so one of the things now you can do, instead of saying, I just want all out heat, if you have two hours on a job and you have 30% charge on your battery, you can set your runtime to two hours and it'll automatically calibrate over time and read over time to That's be able to awesome. deliver that runtime. So, you know, you may not get the, um, the max amount of heat for two hours, but you're gonna get something and you can make that choice. Yeah, it's not gonna be the last 30 minutes just out there freezing, yeah, totally exactly. understandable. Yeah. And then um, just explain what these two different sizes are here. Yeah, yeah. So this is, and the, I, I forgot to mention too, this is going to be a $99 accessory. So this will retail at 99 So the normal stuff will still come with the M12. Exactly. And then this is an additional accessory. Yeah, all heated gear, we're, we're committed to M12. It's a big part of our user's life on and off the job, right? And all heated gear jackets will ship with uh, the top off, the new power source for uh, Hexon heat technology, and then the vests will ship with the battery holder, which is the really the adapter that allows it to power, uh, but all shipping with those M12 batteries. But yeah, back to this. So this is the, the double prong uh, insertion, really that connection now for Hexon garments. And the reason we have it is actually because of this product with the heated gear power source. That smaller port is what allows the Bluetooth connectivity and the connection. So both of the adapters for M12 also have that, primarily just for the interface. All right, so you went through everything with this, but I also noticed you have the brand new top off, which obviously is USB-C, has the ports for the jacket, and also can charge the battery, That's which right. is a first as far as I know. And then you have this one, which is solely for, I believe, vests? Correct, yeah. So the battery holder really is that it's purely a heated gear adapter. And these are both second generation, so we actually did have a version of these with previous heated gear. So all jackets will ship with this M12 top off, USB-C in and out, which is one port. The previous one had USB-A out, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the battery holder is really just updated with that interface for the, the Hexon garments. So the great thing about these is they're all backwards compatible. So you can use any previous heated gear. You can use the heated gear power source with app control. You can use it with previous heated gear as a battery. You just won't be able to use the app because that's really what is uh, it's connected to Hexon. And that's what separates that from the prior exactly. stuff. Now, uh, we were talking before we started filming, and the one thing I found interesting was, again, I'm kind of a Milwaukee nut. I had no idea you had a heated jacket that had a hood, but I saw the brand new one behind me, and yeah. I'm like, I need to have that. So why don't you go into those a little bit? Yeah, so we have in 24, obviously, here with Hexon. That's the cornerstone of the introduction, really going to be what we build on. But we also are bringing that with a lot of our products uh, evolved from our current lineup. So we have all the new Tough Shell jackets, which is really the flagship of the lineup. Which will always remain hoodless as of now. Stays in hoodless, yeah. Okay. So it's that soft shell jacket. And yep. then we have the Axis jackets in vests, both for men and women. But the men's Axis jacket that you see behind me, both in black and gray, that's the one that has the hood. So wind and water resistant, 
um, diff- a little different style from the tough shell, right? Depending on that preference. I know you're a hood guy. I am uh, a hood guy. Well, that was my biggest complaint is because, again, we do snow removal. We're out in the elements, and it's just like whatever you're wearing a hoodie underneath your jacket and then you put the hood up and then it gets all wet because it's cotton or whatever the case may be so i was always wished that the tough shell came with the ja- or with the hood um and it looks like you're coming out with that so yeah and again i had no idea you even had one that had a hood so you learn something new every day i know we kind of we weaved a little bit here but we talked about obviously with heated gear and how it got started and hexon really being this is the foundation for us so Everything eventually here in our portfolio is going to be moved to Hexon, and that's also going to allow us to get into some categories and some product lines that we frankly haven't done very well in the past or haven't even gotten into. Because of this capability of the tech, it's lightweight, flexible, it delivers much more heat, it's more uh, adaptable and, and better contact, right? So all of these things. I was going to talk about the stays warmer for longer aspect of it really is what we talked about with cold conditions, hitting it and holding that temp. In those warmer conditions, you're going to get extended runtime. And then the heat coverage, the, the carbon sheets, uh, really that, that graphene thin layer, you get 40 times more contact in the same footprint compared to the, the previous gen tech and both and ours and legacy techs in the market with that carbon fiber. And then the heat up time, it's insane. You put it on, you feel it, uh, you know, two, three seconds, you're gonna feel it immediately. And it's seven times faster in those cold conditions when you need it the most compared to our previous. Uh, so it's, it's definitely something that really changes the game here with heated gear. Well, that's, I think, one of the things I'm excited about, because, again, I have the prior models. Um, two things on that, I guess. One is you have a great diagram behind me about the wire. And I just, so with the new Hexon, it's just a total blob, which is awesome because it's just total coverage, but uh, the unscientific term I'll use. <laughs> um, but then the other thing was, is I would turn it on, you would obviously see the red on your chest, but like I would literally have to press the jacket against my, like, is this thing on? Like, so you're saying you're not gonna have to do that anymore. It's almost instantaneous that you're gonna be able to start to feel it. Yeah, absolutely. That's That's really the intent. Obviously, if you have t-shirt and two sweatshirts and oh, everything yeah, under it yeah but it is going to improve that a lot i think that was one of the biggest aspects was you really had to have it super close to your body for it to make a big difference um, and that's why hoodies and vests things like that are a big preference uh, but now with with hexon because of the contact because of the amount of power that it's able to hold the that perception is really improved and increased and that's really what this was all about was at the beginning for us how can we improve that perception and that experience of warmth? So obviously we walked through all the different ways that it's doing it, but it all kind of brings it to self together in one package. And then I got one other question. So um, basically when, as far as I know, again, you can elaborate on it, but like different jackets have different coverage. For example, some will do shoulders back, some will do ch- chest. And then I believe you said that with this, you can actually now adjust that. So you can say, I just want the chest or I just want the back or the shoulders or can you elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, so each product's a little bit on, different on the heat zone. So our vests are, we call it a single zone, but it's it's two spots, right? It's your chest and your back. So both chest and then the back. In the in the app now, you can actually detach those. And if you just want it on your chest, say, you're maybe you're in your car driving, you got the seat heaters on, you can throw it on the chest, save some battery, or you've got something pressed up against you with a harness. You can really pick the spot that you want that. Um, and then the other garments in the Axis jackets, both men and women, you have chest, back, and then shoulders. And then in the Tough Shell, you have chest, back, and pockets. So you Ooh, can you pockets. can kind of select the where you want it for for each one of those in the app. Very nice. All right, Wes, thank you for your time. This is very exciting stuff. Love the innovation. Can't wait to get my hands on it this winter um, in the snow. And uh, appreciate all your time, and really looking forward to what's coming next. Thanks, Matt.